Hello everybody, this is Ron with Robo Alarms and I'm in the shop. Today I've got a nice loud self-contained siren. It's got three wires comes out of it. You apply 12 volts to this and it makes a good whooping siren if you use uh, the yellow wire. It makes a steady sound. Anyway, nice and loud. Works at 12 volts. And they're good sirens, good for use. And uh, you can get these on eBay. Anywhere from $15 to about $30. And anywhere in between. But, a lot of times I like to use something other than just a standard siren. I like to use a voice siren. And I'm going to give you an example. You've entered a secured area under video surveillance. The police were called. Leave immediately. And that's coming off of this speaker here, which is the same as this one. So why is it making the voice sound instead of the whooping sound? Well, what I've done, I've taken a Phillips head screwdriver and I've taken the screws out and pulled this out. And when you pull this out on the back of the speaker, you'll find a siren driver like this right here. Clip the wires, just take it out. Put it aside in case you ever need a siren driver. Solder your wires to the speaker. Put them back in. And that's what I've done here. Uh, to help keep it from tangling up, I tie a knot just inside it. But right behind the speaker, it's soldered on. The wires come back out. Now then, it's a speaker. Now why would I take a self-contained good siren and turn it into just a speaker? Well, for one thing, because I do want to use a voice siren warning. I have found over the years that, uh, and I watched the video as the burglar made his attempted entry, and it's just something about a voice coming on warning them that, hey, the police have been called. Seems like they fertilized the lawn on their way out. So, I tend to use a lot of voice sirens with voice warnings. It just seems to work better, and then it kicks into the burglary sound. And so there's some real advantages to doing that. And you can even set up maybe a relay and have, you know, a PA system or something. But why not just buy the speaker? Well, sometimes you may have a number of sirens already in stock or that you have that you want to use without having to spend more money. Or maybe you just choice got the choice of buying them. Go to looking for just the speakers, and I found that they tend to run about twenty-eight dollars and more up just for the bigger speakers. Uh, you can get some of the smaller speakers uh, for less, but just the speaker alone costs me more than a self-contained siren. So I keep those in stock if I need the uh, siren. It's ready to go, but if I should need to use a voice siren, I just pull it out, solder the wires to it, put it back together, and it's a speaker. So for less money, I actually keep two things in stock, at least by my standards. I don't know if you heard it, but uh, in this particular one set to push a button, these uh, the Robo Alarm voice drivers um, I have uh, comes with its own amplifier. I'm thinking about building some with even a bigger amplifier, but these are pretty loud. They echo through the neighborhood. By moving this little jumper here, whenever power is applied, it just comes on. So you can connect it straight to your alarm panel. And now then, instead of just a standard whooping siren, I have the voice siren with a warning like this. You entered a secured area under video surveillance. The police were called. Leave immediately. I think you get the idea. Fortunately, I'm back here in the shop. Pretty good ways back. Got the door shut. And I'm out in the country. But even with that, some of my neighbors can probably hear it. But they, they're kind of used to it being me. But my other siren in my house, they all have no doubt that that's the alarm in the house. Because I have so many alarm sirens all around my house. That is what I recommend for you too. Anyway, just something to give you an idea 
again when you go to put that speaker back it's a magnet it's going to try to take your screw away from you take a little bit of tape wrap it on the end of your screwdriver and just on the end of the screw that way when you go down in there the screw stays on the screwdriver and you can put it in there and start it and then you can pull back and the screw will come out of the tape and you can put your next screw in that's not just handy on a siren speaker or any place that you've got to got a trouble getting a screw in there but that'll help you get your siren speaker back together because that magnet pulling the screws away from you is one of the biggest pains of doing it little electrical tape and that's taken care of anyway i hope this gives you some ideas and helps you out uh if you should decide to use a uh, voice siren as opposed to just a regular whooping siren it's all up to the individual but uh, again i've found that a voice warning sure seems to uh get the burglar moving that much quicker. This is Ron in the shop. Hope you have a great day.